What's going on everybody? My name is Jim Garitsis. This is my 1972 Skyline Hakoska. As many of you know, I've always been into Skylines. Uh, I got my first Skyline about six years ago, which was my red GTR, uh, the Motul GTR as they called it, because uh, we were sponsored by Motul and the car made itself, but made a pretty good name for itself. But a dream of mine has always been to own a Hakoska, a Hakasuka as we say here in the United States, Hakoska as they say in Japan. It's been a dream of mine. I've always been into classic cars, uh, but it's just been very difficult. Prices, very expensive, and of course, tracking a nice one down. I've tried, I've tried, I tried, and about a year and a half ago, I came across my 1972 Hakoska. A gentleman that I met who had imported the car from Japan, who lived in Canada, reached out to me. We were kind of going back and forth. Uh, he knew that I was interested in getting one and we started talking. Of course, uh, like I said, it's always been a dream to own one, so I immediately took actions. Uh, at the time, I owned a, an R31 Skyline. I also had an FDRX7 uh, and a couple of other cars uh, that I, uh, I owned at the time. The R31 sold, uh, the FD sold, along with some other cars. And of course, uh, once that was done, we negotiated a deal uh, with the gentleman in Canada and I became the owner of this uh, 1972 Skyline. Finally, when it was delivered here, I have to say, um, not even embarrassed to say this, being a grown man, I literally shed a tear because it was always a dream of mine. I've never had, I never even seen one in real life. So the fact that I now own one, I'm really proud to say that I finally had the chance not only to find one, but to purchase one and make it my own. When we did receive the car, as you may see in some of the photos, the car was silver. It had an L28 swapped in it. It did not have the original two liter motor that it came with. The 2.8 was swapped in it. It had the, the Rocket Bunny flares and all that. One of the features uh, of the car, uh, something that really stuck out for me was that this car has been seen and also been signed by the president of Tomei the president of Voltex, also the president of RWB, and the president of Rocket Bunny. To me, that's awesome just to think that these guys sat in this car and signed the dash. I mean, I think that's amazing. Other than that, it had the uh, the SSR wheels that are still currently on it. When we first got it, the first, first thing we did is we stripped the entire car right down to bare metal. Everything was removed, interior, dashes, because that's the only way I would really know what I truly have. I mean, there were some flaws, we fixed them. So now I know that I'm sitting on the car that's been just completely redone. Since that time, we have now painted the car, the 2021 Mazda Pearl Blood Red. I, I wish I could honestly tell you, I, I always get mixed up, but it's the 2021 Mazda color that has been done. I think it looks amazing. It complements the car amazing. Uh, we did a complete wire tuck uh, in the engine bay uh, at our shop at RB Power Garage. Everything was done there other than the paint. The only thing we don't do is paint, so everything else was done at our shop. We are now preparing a semi-built RB26, making about 440 horsepower. The, uh, the RB26 will be going into this car, which that is something I cannot wait for, especially with the horsepower and the power to weight ratio. Uh, the car is just gonna be amazing, so that's something I can't wait for. There's really not much I wanna do to the car other than do that engine swap. The rest of the car is solid 100%. So that's gonna be something worth talking about, I believe. Along with the wheels, along with the SSR wheels, we have the uh, Toyo uh, 888 proxies that have been put in the car. Uh, these are giving us great grip, and of course, uh, they're gonna help a lot uh, once the RB26 is installed. Other than everything else that we did exterior-wise, on the, in the inside of the car, the interior, we actually have a whole new rug that was installed. We also have the custom Datsun racing seats, which give it that really nice uh, old-school Datsun nostalgic look. Uh, as far as uh, the, the lights uh, on the dash, uh, Speed Hut, which is probably the only company, shout out to them, that makes these gauges. These are all custom LED gauges. They've all been replaced. And also we've replaced and put all new wood grain for the interior of the car, which also added that nice look to it and makes it look very clean. 
Another little upgrade was, of course, the LED headlights. We had to change the old school ones. Even though they were in good shape and I still have them, you could barely see. Uh, it was just, they were just so dim and, and so light especially being from 1972. So we did replace them with the, uh, with the custom LED headlights. Of course, we added the yellow light, which is the whole JDM look. And, and I also have the custom covers that I kind of put on and off for the most part. Sometimes I'll just keep one on, sometimes I'll put both on, but that also gives it that nice mysterious look that these old Japanese cars have. Also another thing that's worth mentioning is with the RB26 swap that we are planning, we're gonna be converting the rear subframe to an S13 subframe. Not only will it help us because it'll be stronger, but we'll also be able to have a lot more options for as far as like coilovers or anything else suspension wise. Also, we're gonna need engine management. At this point, what we're thinking, we're gonna be going with the Haltech Elite for the car. And I think it'll complement the RB26 perfectly and it'll allow us to do uh, what we need to do to make the proper adjustments for the car. To those who would perhaps entertain the option of getting one of these cars. I would say, uh, number one, of course, it's very difficult nowadays with the prices going up, the prices are skyrocketing. You're looking at six figures for the most part to get one of these cars, at least to get them in the country. My advice to everybody would be to be very cautious, take a look at what you're getting. One thing with me when I did decide to purchase this car was that I wanted to make sure that I had every possible option looked at. I had 100 different videos and 100 different pictures sent to me before I, I pulled the, the trigger on this. For those who don't already follow me, if you want to follow the page, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, the page is at underscore RB Power. That is my personal page with uh, my personal cars. Our shop page is uh, underscore RB Power Garage. We also have a YouTube channel, which again is RB Power. So uh, if you don't follow us, uh, go out there and give us a follow. And uh, hopefully you'll appreciate the builds that we have going on right now and in the future what we have going on.